has been a great challenge. I think what we are faced with was the context of every 13 seconds someone's in America, in America will lose their home. Um, half a million households here in California at risk. Uh, seven out of 10 cities in America are right here uh, in California. The cost's incredible. Uh, $50,000 of loss to every bank, $20,000 of loss in terms of homeowners, and, uh, and, and especially challenging our local governments that have to come up with the services to uh, police and fire, as well as the loss in property taxes. Um, we heard passionate, often tearful, emotional, gut-wrenching testimony, and as well as very informed testimony that was very detailed and uh, dispassionate from other sectors of the community. And the challenge was to take all of that and put it into something that was workable, to keep Californians in their home, make sure that we have a clear process uh, for staying in the home, as well as if that came to that point in time, a foreclosure process that we could all say was fair and transparent and known in terms of the urgency. There's a city in California that just a few hours ago declared bankruptcy that will not be able to pay for essential services. And many experts agree that that bankruptcy was predicated on the massive amount of foreclosures because this city leads the nation in foreclosures. But for the devastating effects of that. And I believe that we have to keep that in mind even as we have our own desires for how this bill should move forward. Secondly, um, this is a very special vehicle on the issue of an analysis. This is not Th this is a bipartisan, bicameral conference committee. So we don't have the traditional expectations. The document that someone said, but for they have having read this and received this prior to day, wouldn't be able to vote. This is not a committee analysis. An analysis has been left up to the resources of everybody on this panel. We have access to many resources, whether it's a partisan analysis or whether calling people into our offices. Everybody had the right to question the bill, to analyze the bill, to make a conclusion about the bill. Th this document here is not a committee analysis. This is simply a restatement of everything in the bill. I challenge anyone to say that it isn't. It's a summary. And I could read this and read the bill and there would be nothing extra. So I think we've got very, very intelligent people on this panel, um, some with law degrees, some with doctorate degrees, but I am sure at the end of the day everyone has the most important part of their anatomy and that is their heart. And our hearts tell us that this is the right thing to do. This is our time. This is our moment to do something for Californians who feel they don't have that time and never had that moment. And so therefore, I intend to vote aye because the lifeboat leaving the Titanic of foreclosures has already carried some people to safety, thanks to our Attorney General. Don't we want to save the rest of the people stranded on that sinking boat by giving them another lifeline, another lifeboat to shore. Respectfully request an I vote. Thank you very much, both the Senators Evans and Senator Evans and Mr. Ng for their presentations. Now we will call the roll on A B two seventy eight. Evans. Aye. Evans I Ng. Aye. Ng I Blakesley. Calderon. Calderon I Fuhrer. Aye. Fear I Wagner. Reluctantly no. Wagner, no.
All right. Now, uh, by unanimous consent, we'll substitute the role on AB 278 for, um, uh, with regard to SB 900. Uh, those two matters having been dealt with, no further business before this conference committee. Our hearing is adjourned.